Welcome back to SB Nation. Let's talk some surprise college football teams ranked outside of the top 25 in the early coaches polls. And just for S's and G's, let's go in alphabetical order. Let's start with the Cal Bears out west. Zach Maynard at quarterback can't be really any more inconsistent than he was in 2011. Keenan Allen is one of the more underrated playmakers nationally. Bryce Treggs, an incoming wide receiver. He's a five-star blue chipper type. If they're able to stay healthy with E.C. Sofele as one of the more underrated running backs within the conference, coupled with the fact that their secondary is experienced and their defensive line is stocked with young talent. They should be able to navigate a schedule that, although up and down in September, with USC and Ohio State on the road, see Stanford, Washington, and Oregon come to Cal, a new Memorial Stadium in Strawberry Canyon in the second half of the 2012 campaign. Moving on, let's talk the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Yes, the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Munchie Legault is back as the most humorously named quarterback in the Big East. The schedule is manageable with only Toledo and Louisville as the more threatening road games. Virginia Tech comes to Cincinnati, but with only four true road games, the Bearcats should be back in the top 25, especially considering how sort of mucky the Big East is. Moving on, it's time to talk Rocky Top. Tennessee has been down these past couple of years with Tyler Bray entering his junior season. As weird as his back tattoo is, he is going to put up a ton of yards, a ton of touchdowns against a schedule with only three true road games. I don't know how that worked out, but they have NC State early on in Atlanta. But beyond that, the schedule is entirely manageable. They have Alabama, but that's in Knoxville. And then the season closes out with Troy, Missouri, Vanderbilt in Kentucky. I'll say that one more time. Troy, Missouri, Vanderbilt in Kentucky. Look for a surge in wins for Tennessee and to end the season somewhere in the 18 to 22 range. All right, let's go to a new SEC team. We just mentioned Missouri with Tennessee, but Texas A&M. This one's a weird one because of the new conference, new coach, new quarterback, but they have Florida, Arkansas, Arkansas and LSU all at College Station. They have to survive a road swing of Auburn, Mississippi State, and Alabama, but if they can get one or two out of those three, they should be in pretty good shape. It's a new offense, relatively speaking, for the SEC, that wide open Kevin Sumlin attack that he brings over from Houston. If they're not going to be great, they're going to be good at times. They're going to be interesting to watch, and if nothing else, let's hope they're not as bad in second halves as they were last year with Mike Sherman. And finally, let's go to altitude. The Utah Utes, a pretty ideal schedule, all things considered, in the Pac-12 South. They have USC and BYU early, but those games are both at home. It's a weird beginning of the season holy war, but they'll get through that. The big thing about Utah this year, Jordan Wynn, Devontae Christopher, John White, all experienced and talented offensive skill players, and headlining the defensive line is Star Lotulele, and he headlines a front seven, not just a defensive line that is going to be salty in 2012. And they end the season against a murderer row of thoroughly below average Pac-12 teams. That would be Oregon State, UCLA, Cal, Washington, Washington State, Colorado, and Arizona. It just sounds like Mario Coins going off in the Utah win column. So let us know who you think that's outside the top 25 can find their way into the top 25 at the end of the season. Stay tuned to SB Nation for more college football. We'll see you soon.